Do you know if Papita actually gives a low blood sugar spike? Let's find out. Today I'm having 250 grams of freshly cut Papita or Papaya and in total this should be around 125 calories. Let's hope for a good result. You know this is the only fruit that I never used to like before but now I like it. Let's see what my glucose monitor says. 42 mg increase? One second, one second. This means that Papita just gave a sugar spike similar to that of mango, which had given a 40 mg spike. This is 42. I was expecting the spike to be much lower, around mid 20s, like when I had musk melon or kharbuja, which had given me a 27 mg spike. But that didn't happen. Okay, after some research, I found an amazing fact, which is that the glycemic index of papaya is similar to that of mango, not lesser. Can you believe it? Try googling it yourself and see, you'll be amazed. And this means that even though papayas feel lighter, the sugars clearly get absorbed at a similar rate compared to mango. And that's why the sugar spikes were similar. Two main learnings from this entire series. First is that mangoes get way too much attention when it comes to the potential sugar spike. Whereas there are many other fruits which we don't realize but give a similar or even more spike compared to mango. And second, there were many fruits that had given a relatively high sugar spike but they're still better than any dessert out there because they have additional benefits also like containing fiber, vitamins and minerals which cannot be ignored. 